Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training at .NET Nuke Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to give you an overview of the .NET Nuke control panel. So the control panel actually provides you with an interface to interact with the existing page by creating content on that page through the use of modules. You can also create additional pages. You can change settings for the current page. And you can easily access some of the administrator and the host or super user functions from within the control panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of those options there. We're going to take a look at the modes that the, that the control panel provides. We'll take a look at those common tasks available to us when we first open the control panel. We can see the, the tasks available on the current page, as well as the tasks and options available to admin and to host users. So the control panel in .NET Nuke is provided typically at the top of the page when you log into a .NET Nuke website when you have edit permissions. Now I'm currently logged in as a host or a super user account just to demonstrate the full features of the control panel. But if you were logged in with a different account that, did ha that had different permissions, you would see a few less options here within the control panel. Like I said, the control panel will typically display at the top of a page, though that can be customized through the use of your skin. And what the control panel is going to provide out of the box is a way to come in and change your mode. Now when you log in out of the box, the mode will immediately put you into the edit mode. So if you have the edit permissions, you'll be in edit mode and have the ability then to see the actions menus on the page along with any containers and module titles for every module on the page. Now within the modes, you can change between view, edit, or layout mode fairly easily just by clicking on the radio buttons in the mode option. Now when you switch into view mode, you'll see the page itself actually changes the actions menus and the module titles for some of the modules on the page go away. So we're no longer in edit mode, we can't interact with the modules themselves, but we're previewing the way the website looks to a user who doesn't have edit permissions. We switch back to edit mode, once again we get the actions menus. Now switching into the layout mode actually changes things quite a bit. Layout mode displays a wireframe type approach to the panes that are available within the current skin. Now a skin in .NET Nuke controls the look and feel of a site. It also controls the layout by placing panes within the skin. The panes control where you can place modules. And what we can see when we switch into the layout mode for the default skin in .NET Nuke Professional, we have five panes available to us. And the names of those panes are shown with borders around the locations of those panes. And as you can see out of the box, the home page in .NET Nuke has five panes with three modules all of those modules inside of the bottom pane. So the layout mode allows you to kind of see what's available to you and where you can start to place things. We can, from the layout mode, we can use the drag and drop functionality within modules by clicking on a module and dragging it around into different panes. We can also use the actions menus for those modules to move the modules into different panes as well. So from layout mode, I'm going to switch back to the edit mode. And our content once again shows up. The wireframes for the panes go away, but we can see the page again. Now, other parts of the control panel. There's a common tasks tab. There's a current page tab. There's an admin tab and a host tab. There's also an admin link and a host link up above the tabbed interface. Depending on if you're logged in as an administrator or a host account, these links may or may not show up. Now, to the right of those links, there is a arrow icon here. If we click on that, we can actually expand or collapse the control panel. We can hide it on the page. Typically, I would leave it exposed all the time when I'm logged in and I have edit rights on a page. Now, from the common tasks tab, we can get to a number of different features. We can edit the settings for the current page. We can click on the new icon here to create a new page. Within the insert page section of the common tasks tab, we can actually create a new page very quickly by giving it a name, choosing a template, and choosing where in the navigation it's going to go, and then clicking on the add page link. Now that creates a very basic page with minimum settings provided. Permissions for that page are not defined. You would then need to edit the settings for the page in order to control the permissions. We talk more about permissions in the permissions grid in a previous video you can find within the .NET Nuke video library. Now to the right of the insert page section is the insert module section. In a future video, we'll go into more details here, 
But what we can do within this insert module section is we can choose a module and then place that module onto the page for maintaining content on that page. Now in the current page tab, this allows us to get to some more specific settings about the existing page. Once again, we have an edit, edit link that takes us to the edit page settings. We have a copy option, an import, an export, and a delete option. So these are features for the current page. Now, we can't currently delete this home page because it's configured as the home page for our .NET Nuke website. From there, we can also come in and change the name of our page. We can move the page within our navigation, and we can apply a different skin to the page. We can choose to include the page in the menu or not, and to also mark it as disabled or not. If this page has any child pages underneath it, we can copy permissions from this page down to all children. We can also copy the design or the skin that's being applied to this page down to all children as well. Now, if we're logged in with admin or host access, we'll also have access to the admin tab. This provides us a list of links that the administrator can access. And those links are very similar to the links or the options found underneath the admin menu in the navigation. So it's just a shortcut to get to some of those features that the admin menu provides. Same thing goes for the host tab. If you go to the host tab, you'll find that we have a, a list of pages also found underneath the host tab here in the navigation. Now, in addition to that, .NET Nuke supports multiple websites, multiple portals. And as a host or a super user, you can switch between various portals using the host tab in the control panel. At this point, we only have one portal assigned to this particular .NET Nuke install. So that's the only one available here. But if we had more, we could choose from that and then choose to switch to those other portals. I hope you found this control panel overview video to be useful. We'll go into more detail on some of the aspects of the control panel in a future video. You can also check out our .NET Nuke training options by going to the resources tab and choosing the training option on .NET Nuke.com. We provide a variety of free videos. We also offer instructor-led online training as well as custom on-site and online training. You can access it, like I said, from the resources tab on .NET Nuke.com or by, by using the shortcut URL here. Just remember that that shortcut URL is case sensitive. Once again, this is Chris Hammond from .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.